Jerry Crack, thanks for coming back. Medium chain triglycerides, what the heck are they? Sounds like some kind of new Star Wars film. MCTs, found very much in nature. Uh, well, actually not found in nature, but made through processes from something that nature creates, okay? So medium chain triglycerides are basically something that we make from coconut oil, coconut fat. Caprylic acid and capric acid, I think, are the two main MCTs. So these are medium chain, not long chain fats like olive oil, for example. Now the benefit here with MCTs is uh, the body can easily um, absorb them. They go, it doesn't really need bile to break this fat down. It gets absorbed in through the portal vein, I believe, straight in, and then, then the liver deals with it. So this doesn't really pile on the fat because it bypasses the normal route. So the body doesn't break the fat down, digest it, and absorb it like a normal fat, which means it's not going to stockpile this fat on your butt or your tummy or, or different areas. But also, uh, you need a lot l less MCT or coconut to hit satiety than you would um, olive oil, for example, or other fats. So medium chain triglycerides, they, I looked at a study involving 13 different studies, probably like a meta-analysis, where they discovered that people who were consuming small amounts of MCTs regularly were losing up to around about a half a pound of body weight with a small loss in waist circumference compared to controls who were not doing that at all. So medium chain triglycerides can um, help you, assist you to lose a, a small amount of weight. But it's not the be all end all. You shouldn't just take these MCT capsules thinking that you're going to look like, you know, some type of Barbie doll because it doesn't really work like that, okay? Best to look more at increasing protein consumption, uh, reducing calorie consumption from crappy foods, exercising more. You know, there are different ways uh, that you can get your body size into good shape. But having a small amount of MCT oil in your uh, diet is quite good. Also, MCT is also antifungal, remember? So also good for controlling yeast in your gut with that high caprylic acid um, amount there. So that's another good spin-off uh, from having MCTs. Am I a fan of them? Well, I like coconut products. I don't think I'd really consume the MCT because it's a fractionated product made from coconut oil. So I prefer to stick with the, the whole coconut. That's my take on it. Don't forget to click on the link below if you want my free Candida report. Thanks for tuning in, as always.